Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about another video of interview questions. So let's start with and few of the videos I have al already uploaded of the interview question series and uh, I have already created a separate playlist for that particular interview questions discussion. So this will be the third videos of that particular session. So let's check it out. What is the questions that has been asked previously in the interview. So when the HANA has been implemented or the HANA has been introduced, the major question has been asked by the interviewer is what is the major difference between ECC and HANA or SAPMM. So if you guys know about it, uh, please pause the video and uh, comment me in the comment box for the what are the difference that you have even have you ever been faced uh, if you compare from ECC to S4 HANA for the MM point of view right so we'll check it out over here first of all we do have the material character limit has been exceeded from 18 to 14 uh, in the ECC we do have 18 character but now we can take up to 40 character in SAP HANA. Now, so uh, the metal laser has been mandatory in the HANA. See, uh, this is uh, the metal laser has been activated by the key code CKM start. If you wanted to write, you can write CKM start. Uh, that's a T code for the uh, metal laser. Previously in the ECC, it was not mandatory in the ECC, but it is mandatory mandatory in the SAP S4 HANA. Without activating the metal laser, system will not allow you to create the material master in the HANA. Now, few of the transaction has been obsolete like XK01, XK02 and the business partner is mandatory in SAP S4 HANA. Previously in ECC also, we do have the functionality of business partner. But that in the SAP, it was not mandatory actually without creating of the business partner also in ECC, it is allowed to create the vendor. But in the SAP S4 HANA, it will not allow you to create the vendor without creating the business partner. So anyhow, you have to create the business partner for creating of a vendor. And previously, we do have the T code of XK01, XK02, XK03 that has been absolute in ECC. And now the new T code has been introduced in SAP S4 HANA is BP. That is called business partner. Now, the next uh, table has been introduced that MADDOC table. Previously, we do have the MSEC table in the uh, ECC, but now we do have MADDOC table. And another table has been introduced, name is PRCD underscore element. Previously, we do have KONP and KONB, but now we do have the PRCD underscore element that table has been introduced. Now, another, previously we used to do MB1A, MB1B, MB1C in the ACC, but in the SVP, S4 HANA, it has been absolute. All the T code, all these three T code has been absolute, and all the functionality that has been done by the all those T code can be done in the MIGO also. So in the SAP S4 HANA, you will when you will enter this T code MB1A, you will get an error message that T code has been absolute. And after that, you have to run the T code MIGO. Now let's check then another. The new uploading tool has been introduced that is called LTMC. So previously uh, we do have only LSMW, but another uh, uploading tool has been introduced like L LTMC. Now, another question has been asked uh, by the interviewer is what are the segment in the BP for vendors? Business partner for vendors, there's having some few segments that uh, there's having three segments, which is general data, company code data, FLV N00, next purchasing data, FLV N01. These are the three segment has been introduced for the vendor in SAP S4 HANA for creation of vendor as a BP. Now, what are the table used for the vendor? For the vendor, what are the table? It must be have LFA1 for the general data, LFB1 for the company code data and 
LFM1 for the purchasing organization and data. There's three table used are used for uh, you know uh, save the data of a vendor. Whenever you will create the vendor, all uh, if you have entered on the general data, you can check it out in the LFA1 table. As well as if you have maintained the company code data, you can check it out in the LFB1 and the purchasing data, you can check it out in the LFM1 table. Now, what are the table for the business partner? This having must be table for the business partner is BUT double triple zero. That has been the it, it the new uh, table has been introduced over here. The BUT triple zero in the SAP S4 HANA. That has been it is for business partner. So, can you fix the same number range for vendor and the business partner? So, uh, can you fix? That means the vendor also the same number and the business partner also the same number. Yes, we can fix the same number range for the business partner and the vendor. But how? How can we do that? The number range for a business partner and the vendor will be the same. So, we do have the some functionality like, first of all, we need to put the vendor number range is external. Whenever we will create the vendor number range, it must be external number range because we have to put the number range same for vendor and the business partner. So, whenever we will create because in the SAP S4 HANA, first of all, we have to create the business partner, then only we can create to the vendor. So, basically, whenever we will create the vendor, we will have to select the number range is external. Now, after uh, creation of the business partner, what we will do in the vendor account group, we will assign the check, we do have a check box for the same number, the same number we will check. Uh, and after that, when we, will, uh, when we will create the business partner or the vendor, the same number of range can be occur. Now, how do we block the vendor in SAP S4 HANA? So, it's, it's a very easy question and uh, I would uh, request you to please pause the video and uh, please comment me in the comment box that how we can block the vendor in SAP S4 HANA. And, uh, okay, so let's check it out how do we can block the vendor in SAP S4 HANA. So, we do have, first of all, if we wanted to go to the, uh, for the centrally, we have to go to the uh, change mode in the vendor master and we do have the status for general data view. To block, agar, if, if I have to block on the company code level, then we have to go to the status on the company code view. And uh, in the same manner, if I want to block the purchasing organization level, I have to go to the purchasing tab in the purchasing view. In the same way, we do have the uh, we can do the block of uh, block the vendor. So I hope uh, some of uh, you have got the new questions and some of you have to uh, get the information related to the SAP S4 HANA and the difference between ECC and SAP S4 HANA. And definitely uh, you get some idea about the vendor that what kind of vendor, at what kind of questions can be occur at the time of interview related to the uh, vendors or the business partner. So this that that's enough for today. So, I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please hit on the like button and do subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for today.